From mysterious, possible techniques used for cutting massive stones to the first steam engine created in Egypt, here are forgotten advanced ancient technologies. Number 14, the Lysurgis Cup. This photo we see here of the Lysurgis Cup was created in the 4th century AD by the Romans. What's strange about the cup isn't just the depiction of the mythical king Lysurgis being wrapped around in vines, but also the mysterious glass that was used to create it. Depending on which way the light is hitting it, it actually changes colors. This seems to be a luxurious Roman object that was recovered from a sarcophagus and was eventually even acquired by the Rothschild family, mysteriously enough. It was then sold to the British Museum for £20,000 in 1958. It's believed that fine particles of gold and silver were added to the glass that would ultimately help it change its colors. What's even more fascinating about this cup is that it appears to be the first example of nanotechnology and these metallic particles are spread only 70 nanometers across. It can also not be seen with an optical microscope. Number 13, the Iron Pillar of Delhi. Located in Delhi, India is a mysterious pillar that rises 7 meters or 23 feet high. What's most intriguing about this pillar is that it's remained completely rust-free for 1500 years. If that wasn't shocking enough, it's made of 99.8% pure iron. That's purer than the iron we currently have in modern times. It weighs over 13,000 pounds, making you wonder how it's even still standing. The pillar even withstood the firing of a point-blank cannon strike. Despite some indentations, it's still standing strong to this day. Number 12, Trebuchets. For the invention of gunpowder, the best possible siege weapon to have was the intimidating trebuchet. These were also sometimes preferred over cannons due to their greater range, accuracy, and sheer damage. Trebuchets originate from China and use a complex system of counterweights. The enormous arm could be lowered using two men running around what looks like a hamster wheel. Here we see an example of this one from the Warwick Castle. These can launch enormous projectiles and in this photo, we see a car being launched in the sky with this medieval weaponry. It was a truly powerful device and still quite amazing considering that it only used weights. Number 11, the Berlin Gold Hat. This is one of the best preserved conical golden hats from the Bronze Age. It dates back to 1000 BC. A few were found in Germany and one in France. It appears to be from some type of astronomical cult. Researchers closely studied the hat and they realized that the cult possessed highly complex mathematical predictions that calculate the cycles of the sun and the moon and seem to act as some type of calendar. This suggests a very high intelligence, greater than reimagined of people at this time. Some believe that the thin sheet of gold it's made of and the conical shape would be able to pick up some type of communication signal. Or maybe whoever wore it actually had a head in the shape of a cone. Number 10, the Quimbaya Airplanes. The Quimbaya Airplanes are golden artifacts that were found in Colombia and made by the Quimbaya civilization. Many believe this to be evidence of ancient civilizations either having contact with people who had flying capabilities. Of course, mainstream archaeologists want you to believe that these are flying lizards, birds, or insects, but others firmly believe that the answers to these mysteries are found from out of this world. Supporters of this theory claim the objects are far too aerodynamically accurate and replicas have been proven that they can fly. Here in these photos, you can even see some of these objects have some kind of propeller or even appear to be quite similar to our modern day flying aircraft. Was this civilization visited by alien life and carved these golden sculptures in their form? Number 9, Siege Towers. Medieval armies had some of the best approaches when it came to getting over walls, and although the design is somewhat simple, these siege towers can get pretty massive. Of course, technologies have changed since then, but for ancient warriors, having an advantage in height will be proved to be successful in many scenarios. Consider the siege tower as being a well-armored ladder that will provide soldiers with some cover when they try to scale a tall fence or wall. These were first seen in the 11th century BC and were used by the Babylonians and the Assyrians. The siege towers were portable, complete with wheels, and various ways to get them to move. However, being fairly large, they were commonly spotted by enemies and would be targeted with stone flinging catapults. Siege towers can still be seen today, but mostly for entering windows during hostile situations. It's known as the Rook and is almost like an armored bulldozer. Number 8. Ancient Lasers 
For centuries, mankind has sought to control the way light moves. Since the time of Archimedes, it was well known that concentrating light into more dense concentrations could create something quite powerful. By using a complex series of mirrors, ancient Greeks were able to construct an archaic death ray that was capable of making boats catch on fire. This uses the power of the sun that reflects concave mirrors into a concentrated beam of energy. This was positioned on the edge of a cliff and they waited for boats to come by. There have been many attempts to bust it as a myth and some feel as though the mirrors most likely just blinded the Romans during the attack. Number 7. The Main Calendar this pre-Columbian Mesoamerican civilization had a mysterious fascination with the sun, stars, and all the cosmos. Used since 500 BC, they were extremely accurate when it came to creating a calendar and predicting events such as the summer and the winter solstice. And if you thought the calendar in your room was fancy, you haven't seen the ones the Mayans used. The Mayan calendars that were used were extremely complex, and even two calendars worked at the same time. There was the Tun and the Zulkin. The Zulkin calendar was 260 days and celebrated by everybody. The Tun, or the Divine Calendar, which had 360 days, would line up with every 52 rotations. They were clearly trying to time things decades in advance. With this calendar, they were even able to closely track the movements of Venus. Some have even theorized that the calendars that were made of gold could actually be used to reflect the sun so intensely that it could be used as a laser to cut stone. Number 6. Underground Stone Age Tunnels is it possible there's a highway of underground tunnels that could have been used as an ancient highway? A large series of tunnels were uncovered, which would seriously suggest that this was possible. They stretch as far north as Scotland and as far south as Turkey. These would have been extremely successful in sheltering people from dangerous unknown elements like animal attacks, cold weather, and thieves. These are believed to have been 12,000 years old. Whoever built them and used them still remains a mystery. Number 5. Ancient Egyptian Glider this small wooden object, also known as the Saqqara Bird, was found near the city of Saqqara, Egypt in 1898. This was five years before the invention of the airplane. It's believed to be a sacred object since the god Horus takes the form of a falcon. This glider has made many historians wonder if the ancient Egyptians designed the first flying aircraft. The replica model was tested and it flew quite well, surprising many. However, many archaeologists refuse to accept the fact that it may have been used to transport humans. Number 4. The Aeola Pile Would you believe it if we told you that ancient civilizations could have already had prior knowledge of simple steam-powered engines? Well, it's true, and who knows what they were able to do with it. The first steam-powered device was described in Roman-occupied Egypt around the 1st century BC, and many will credit the hero of Alexandria for the invention. Water was heated up in the device, which would have been then pumped through different nozzles, making it spin at high speeds. Glassrooms have found this to be a fun experiment, but this invention was far ahead of its time. Although it didn't really have any practical uses, some would put these in various temples and claim it as the work of gods. Number 3. First Vending Machine The steam engine wasn't the only thing used by the hero of Alexandria. Although in modern times, vending machines can sell anything from live crabs to women's underwear. But on the other side, ancient vending machines basically just dispense holy water. According to the Smithsonian, the first vending machine would contain a slot the same size as a standard Roman coin. When the metal coin would drop, the weight would cause the metal lever to drop and dispense water. Some claim it might have also been used in ancient Greek temples. Strangely enough, this technology wouldn't reappear until the 1500s in England. Number 2. The Sound Chamber of Malta Just south of the island of Sicily is where you'll find the 10th smallest country in the world. For its tiny size of only 122 square miles consisting of three islands, it possibly has more history per square inch than any other country. It's also home to a very mysterious place that's well known for its acoustic properties. Also known as the Hypogeum, it has quite a bit of significance due to the way it can drastically amplify someone's voice. Even if you are whispering, someone from the other room can hear what you're saying. Some even claim that they can feel the vibration of the voices move through their body. It was considered to be a very holy place during the time it was constructed, and archaeologists were able to find over 7,000 people buried at this location. And number 1. Mysterious Stone Cutting Techniques We mentioned earlier how ancients might have used lasers to cut stone, and although it's not scientifically proven, it does make you wonder. How were ancient civilizations able to cut through extremely tough rocks such as granite? How was this large chunk of stone, for example, which needs a crane to lift it, be cut with chisels? Being able to cut through massive stones like this and even drill holes like we see in this photo with no metal tools really seems implausible. Granite is made up of various tough stones including quartz and also weaker stones. 
But if you look closely at the way some stones are cut, it seems to go directly through the quartz as if it weren't anything different. As far-fetched as it might sound, we see plenty of golden discs recovered by the Incas as well as various crystals that can magnify the sun. Experiments have been done that show how smoothly rock could be cut with a 100-watt laser if focused.